Hey guys, this is Mars Kapadia, and today I'm here to show you my new invention, the world's first transparent organic light emitting diode based smart glasses. These smart glasses utilize a transparent display made by Sparkfront Electronics, and they can still be worn on the user's face like a normal pair of glasses. They have a really advanced feature in which you can use them indoors and outdoors that you can see your display at any time of the day. How the smart glasses were made. I had to use an open source technology in order to accomplish this feat because with closed source you have the issue of dealing with private APIs and high priced developer keys which are too priced for the average user. So for that I chose the common Arduino Nano Every. The Arduino Nano Every actually supports the SPI and the ULA GIC video library which allows the Sparkform transparent organic light emitting display diode to be attached. This is all rigged together with an SF10 lithium polymer battery run in parallel. The reason why I ran in parallel is that I'll be able to achieve more charging cycles and I'll be able to have an even weight reduction based on the glasses. The glasses use a custom hinge to rotate the lens up and down. How I got all this technology to fit in the glasses was through the benefits of SMD micro-based soldering. Here in the left channel of the glasses is where you can look at the beautiful HC05 Bluetooth 4.0 LE module. I went with Bluetooth LE because I wanted something which is able to transmit a low data rate, yet I'd be able to use this as a wearable technology so I didn't have to charge it that often. On the right side, here we have our SF10 parallel based battery, and in the right chamber, here we have the Arduino Nano Every. The Arduino Nano Every then has four small gauge wires running from the left chamber over the eye and no piece to the right chamber where it's all SMD soldered into the right chamber. This then works together, so when you push the on-off power switch, which is wired into the ground for safety reasons to prevent short circuiting, you can put the glasses on, and with the touch of a button, you have your very world's first TOLED smart glasses. Here we have the Arduino Nano Every. I use the Arduino Nano, Nano Every as the brains of the operation. This had over 50% CPU power and 200% more RAM than its predecessor. I was able to utilize these specs to run the RetroWatch software on my smart glasses. The RetroWatch software is able to display data through the SPI based lens and an Android phone app. So through here is where I use the HC05. The HC05 Bluetooth module supports speeds of 1 megabyte up and 1 megabyte down. This allows for notifications, calls, texts, and other information to be transmitted between the glasses and the phone. So now we have the phone app. The phone app composes a variety of menus, such as you have the option to adjust the date, option adjust the RSS feed, and nu numerous other options to set up the glasses. In this phone app, this is open source, meaning anyone can use it and compile it to their own specific needs. Over here, you can adjust the filters for notifications, priority levels, at which notifications are received at what times. These allow the glasses to have an extremely versatile application use case so that it can be adopted for a variety of companies and a variety of skill-based workers so that at whatever tasks they're doing, they can always have the information they need right in their vision without removing their attention from the work at hand. <laughs>